yesterday for me was very different than today. And I want to share with you the experiences that I've had and that the experiences I perhaps all of us have in life, the ebb and flow. And so here is my uh, personal example of ebb and flow, because yesterday was a really rough day and I uh, considered it more of a, a flu, but not necessarily the flu of the body, but the flu of the mind. And just like with the body, the flu will pass. And there's things that you can do to aid uh, the immune system. And there's things that can be done to aid the mental immune system to uh, promote healing. And for me, pretty much was to do nothing. And the reason why doing nothing was my approach was because I didn't want to pick it up. I didn't want to pick up and agitate this low mood that was already present and make it more than what it was. And I knew it would go away on its own because it always does. But something really spectacular happened the very next day. And here's what happened. And that day is today, by the way. So today I'm outside in the yard and I'm doing some gardening. And all of a sudden I see this kind of stringy thing and it's growing and I, I didn't know what it was. I couldn't tell if it was something debris in the wind that landed on the plant or what have you. But as I moved closer, I realized it was a flower. And what's so startling about this flower is I had no idea this plant had blooms. So right after this flu-like day, I had a recovery. I had a full restoration of my health and it was inspired by nature. And somehow my mind made a connection to that beauty. And as it connected, it became very profound. And it sort of uh, shielded me from those flu-like symptoms that I was having in my mind and in my thoughts. And it just kept shielding me and shielding me. And again, I re again, I sense all of us have these moments where we get caught up, where we get bogged down or overwhelmed because of what we've been through in the past or because of the stressors of our ongoing daily lives. But there's more to life than the stressors. There's more to life than the ins and outs of daily routines, and it's the spirit of life. And that's where love lives. And when it comes out, all of a sudden, we can see the beauty everywhere. And from that little flower, I started seeing the beauty throughout the yard. And I actually started to see the beauty in the day that I thought had nothing to offer. So I just want to say thank you to nature and everyone on the planet that has touched my life, regardless of whether it's been, whether I see it as positive or negative. Um, it's all, it's all part of life. It's all part of learning. And when we learn from those less comfortable moments, it's really valuable. And so I just want to say that I want to appreciate it all. I want to appreciate these two days because they both offered me something unique. And I'm really grateful that the flu-like day happened first and the recovery day happened after. And I think that's pretty much the order of things. So let's talk more about that at some point. And I hope your day is going well. All right. Well, you take care.